In a couple of weeks, I'm going to be working with a friend to build the Deku Shield from Ocarina of Time. So today I'm going to show you how I draw this very simple but very necessary blueprint for my prop project. Greetings fellow makers, welcome down to my little prop shop, I'm Bill Duran and today I'm going to show you how I draw all of the blueprints and patterns for all of my props and costumes using free software called Inkscape. Before we get started though, I'm very excited to announce that we have a new premium video tutorial in the store and PunishProps.com. This is an in-depth tutorial series that showcases the free software tools that I use to create drawings for all of my prop and costume making needs. How to draw patterns, templates, and blueprints in Inkscape is an hour and a half of premium video tutorial goodness that can be had by you for just five dollars. I mean, you can't even enjoy a five dollar cup of coffee for an hour and a half. Or maybe you can. Either way, that's good value for money. So head on over to punishprops.com and grab your copy today. Drawing out your patterns and templates in a vector program like Inkscape can be an invaluable first step when it comes to building your costume and prop creations, especially if you plan on sharing those templates or selling those templates with other makers. Most of the time, I will print out these templates to help my building with my very traditional tools like saws and knives, but I can also use those as paths for my laser cutter and my vinyl cutter for creating intricate prop pieces and for making stencils. So today's video is a brief breakdown and an example of how I draw some of my blueprints for my props. After finding the appropriate reference images for my build, I drag the image that I want to replicate into Inkscape and scale it to the appropriate size. In this case, I went with about 20 inches tall. This layer gets locked down and I add another layer on top of it so that I can draw my blueprint. Most of this drawing and most of all of my drawings are done with the Bezier Curve Tool. I'll start by roughing out the outline of my shape using just normal straight lines, and then once that shape is all completed, I'll go back in and click on all of those nodes and curve them out where necessary. Now, I know the original for this is very hard edged with very straight lines, but it was also on the Nintendo 64 and extremely low poly, so I rounded everything out a little bit to give it a more realistic look. The same was done for the outline of the shield, again drawing the rough outline and then rounding everything out just a little bit. To draw the back of the shield, I simply copied the front view and mirrored it. I deleted the features I didn't need and then added the ones I would need for the back of it. This included the placement of the arm straps. I kind of had to guess where these would go since there isn't any reference in the original art, but I used a ruler in my own arm to figure out where it made sense. With all the drawing done, all I needed to do is print it out so that it can be transferred to my material for fabrication. Now there are many ways to print out large drawings like this. You could just bring the file to a printer like Staples, Kinko's, or Office Max and have them print it out for you on their big printers, and I've done this many, many times. You could also cut it up in Inkscape and print it in pieces on your home printer, something else that I've done very frequently. For this particular one though, I wanted to use my vinyl cutter. I've got this big machine, might as well use it. So I replaced the blade on the vinyl cutter with a Sharpie and I just had it draw out the vector on a large piece of construction paper. Then all I needed to do is cut out the blueprint and I'm ready to start building. And there you go, there is your crash course in drawing quick blueprints in Inkscape for your prop making needs. Of course, you really ought to go grab that premium video that we put out this morning. It's an hour and a half long. It's all the tools that I use to draw everything, including sewing patterns and blueprints and armor templates. Head on over to punishprops.com, grab your copy today and start drawing like a pro. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the video today. Hopefully you learned a couple things about drawing out your templates. Of course, that Deku Shield build is going to be in a couple of weeks. If you're not subscribed already, you want to hit that button right now. Make sure you don't miss that build coming up. Have you started on some prop and costume making projects recently? Are you drawing your blueprints? I want to hear about it. Let me know down in the comments below. I get back to everyone I can on all of my new videos. Also check out the new season of Prop 3D, our 3D printing prop making video series. We just did an intro last week and our first build video is coming up on Friday. Again, 
subscribe. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be super fun. I'm really excited to show you guys what we'll be building. All right, that's enough chatter from me. You and I both have an awful lot of work to do, so let's get to it. We'll see you next week.